Hello class! Welcome to a Room 222 Photoshop tutorial. Today's project is the Vintage Poster Project. So we're going to be making a mandatory one and then you're going to make a choice one. Our mandatory one is one of the national parks in Utah. So this is what it's going to look like. I made up the name Grand Valley under National Parks Visit Utah. This is a picture of one of the national parks though in Utah, which is pretty cool. You're going to find this under Stock Photos, Landscape, and then you have the choice actually of picking from one of three National Park pictures. So the one that I started with, and then there's this one that's an arch one, and this one that's an arch one. So you can do either of those three. Alright, so let's minimize these. We're going to go under Photoshop. Okay, to start off with, we are going to auto-tone the image, so it auto-edits it, and to do this, you're going to do Control-Shift-L. Brings out the brights, makes it nice and pretty. Next, we're going to go to the Image tab at the top, and we're going to click on Image Size. And we are going to make sure that this is set at a resolution of 300, which mine is already set to that, so I'm just going to leave it go. Say OK. If you would like to crop your image from here, you can. I don't want to, but depending on what image you pick later on, you might want to. So I'm just going to let that go. And I'm going to make a copy of my layer, so Control J. And then next I'm going to go to the Filter tab. Go to Filter Gallery, and I'm going to select under Artistic Cutouts. I'm going to minimize it so I can see so I can see my image here. So now we're going to pick Levels, Simplicity, and Fidelity. Again, Levels is how much of the image, the color of the image is still there. So the higher you go, the more color is available. The lesser, the less amount of color is available. I'm going to range around 6. Edge Simplicity, so it either makes it more sharp edges or it kind of just makes it all go to run together. Depending on what you want to do, you can pick anywhere from probably 4 to 7. I'm going to go with 6. And then edge fidelity is the roughness of your edging, which for these you can't really tell. So I'm going to stick with 1. And I'm going to say OK. There's my pretty picture. So now next, I'm going to make the sky a gradient. And I want you to do this for your mandatory picture. When you go to the choice, you don't have to. But for the mandatory, I want the sky to be a gradient. So that which means it's relatively a smooth looking thing. And it will look better all around for when we add text to our image for our poster. So before we select the gradient, though, we have to select the background. So let's go over to our Quick Selection tool. And we're just going to go right on over it. Okay, so now that we have the background selected, we're going to go to our Paint Bucket tool. And then we're going to select Gradient. We're going to select this box. And we're going to click the first preset. So I'm going to start with the lightest color blue that I can find on my image. Um, and then I'm going to make it even just a tad bit lighter. And I select OK. And then I'm going to find the darkest blue on my image and make it just slightly more darker. It's going to give me a wide range of color of blue. Then I'm going to click OK. And then now I'm going to apply it to my image. Your darker should be up top and the lighter should be at the bottom. There should be a nice fade. 
you might have to start up here and end down here to make it work. Um, that's up to you. And now that I have my gradient, I'm going to do Control D to deselect. So now I can add my text. To do this, you're going to go to your text tool and you're going to select. My first one I want to use Deco Tech TL. And for this, I'm going to call it, and I'm going to add a new layer, and I'm going to apply it to this layer, my Grand Valley. Grand Valley. I'm going to change the font to a font that looks relatively close to one that's on the image already. I'm going to click OK. Check that. I'm going to do Control T. And I'm going to bring it over to my center and I'm going to make it bigger. I also want to create an outer um, outline for it, outer stroke. So I'm going to go over to here, right click, Blending Options, and click Stroke. And I'm going to select a lighter color that is similar to a color already on the screen. And I'm going to make the size a little bit bigger. If you ch click on like the positioning also, this will change it. I'm going to stick with outside. You can do, you can pick whichever one you want, honestly. Select OK. And then underneath it, I'm going to put National Parks with the same font. We're going to change this color to a darker color to make it stand out. Control T, and then I'm going to just size it to kind of make it look aesthetically pleasing. There we go. So now we have our headlining title. Next we want them to visit this place, so we need to put where it is, which is Utah. So we're going to make a new layer, and I'm going to use my text tool, and I'm going to select Geomancy. Or Geomancy. And I'm going to put this down here. Utah. And I am going to apply some blending options to this. So first, I'm going to put in a gradient. So with this gradient, you click on the box again. Make sure you're on the preset. And my lower one, I'm going to add a color again that's similar to the, one of the colors on the screen. And then my darker one. It's going to be a darker color, similar to what's already on the screen. And I'm going to say OK. Then I want to add a stroke. Stroke color is going to be, I would like it to be a very dark brown. So it'll stand out. And add a little bit of depth to it. Say OK. So now we have my Grand Valley, National Parks, Utah. And then we need the word visit. So we're going to add a new layer. And we're going to go up here to Honey Script. This is one of my favorite fonts. And we're going to click Say Visit. And I want to make this a bright stand out blue click ok if you want to make it semi bold you can I'm not going to 
I like it the other way. And I'm going to size it a little bit. And I'm also going to skew it slightly. So right click on it, skew. And then I'm going to add a border. So we're going to go to our blending options, right click, add a, a little drop shadow. It adds a little bit of texture to that. And now we have this pretty poster. And what else we want to add to this poster is a background uh, border, a white border. So we're going to click on our background. Then we're going to go to image, and we're going to go to canvas size. And we are going to make the width half an inch bigger, so 13.3 and then 8.5. We are going to make sure relative is unclicked and that the extension is white. And then we're going to say OK. Now look at that border. So now we have our very own vintage poster. So again, you're doing the mandatory one, and then you're going to pick your own and do your own. And we're going to go to File, Save As. We're going to find our finished, po or finished Projects folder. Under Vintage Poster, and under this one will be National Park, and you will save it as your name, as a JPEG. So this is a relatively easy project. It should be pretty fun. If you have any questions, though, please raise your hand and ask. All right, off you go.